With the Rugby League World Cup heading to these shores in October, we've headed to Loughborough University to spend the day with the England Rugby League team. We're going to train with them, we're going to eat with them, we're going to do some s &C coaching with them, and we're going to find out just how serious these athletes are. I would say from working in a range of different sports, this has got the toughest and the best bits from a, from a range of different activities. With the collision aspect, the running aspect, the wrestling aspect, it's a very, very tough sport, certainly the toughest sport I've worked in. We're going to take them through full recovery protocol and we're going to finish with cryotherapy. Basically that exposes the guys to temperatures of minus 140 through ni uh, nitrogen. It kind of works along the lines of a high, an ice bath, um, the, the same core principles, only it's a bit more friendly than an ice bath, it's not as brutal. You don't really know what you're faced with when you get in that first room and then you're in the second one, and, uh, but it's good. Um, you know, it's the second time I've done it and uh, isn't a pleasant thing to go in there, but it's uh, certainly worthwhile. It just feels so, so much better, you just feel refreshed and regenerated. A lot of the lads have bashed each other over the weekend and um, isn't always easy coming in, certainly on the back of a loss. And, and, um, but it's really nice to come in and know that you're in an environment where People care about being here and, and care a lot about where we're going. And I just thought I'd uh, have a look at, you know, giving you a brief insight to what we do as uh, rugby league uh, in general. The lower body stuff will be consisting of uh, squats. We'll give you a warm up of eight reps, going into a set of five. Then we'll go into the Romanian deadlift, so we'll counteract the barbell back squat with the. Uh, hamstrings of the Romanian deadlift. Uh, we're going to give you a bit of uh, upper body strength, real low reps. Uh, we'll give you the barbell bench, uh, we'll give you two reps, and then we'll do five, superset that with five med ball throws, going then into a set of chins, a uh, bit of multi-directional stuff, uh, just again to give you an insight of a bit of a vertical pull and what they do. And just to finish, we'll give you a light blast on the bike of eight seconds on, 22 seconds rest, and we'll. We'll see how you go with that. Nutrition's really key for the players um, with their progression and their recovery. So we've got to make sure from all their foods, all their snacks, all their supplements, that they're fueling properly and then also recovering properly from each session on a day-to-day -day basis. These guys are very extreme mentality-wise and physically and, and we, we push really, really hard, certainly in pre-season and during the season. So it's, it's a brutal sport. We're trying to create the, uh, the best athlete we can. For some individual players, that might be a work on strength. Uh, other players we might get them more powerful and other guys might need to get faster and you know finally there might be some guys who it's just getting through the World Cup you know they've had niggles through the year a uh, bit of injury here and there and we just want to get them on the field playing well so a bit more of maintenance programme. These guys train like boxers in some respects there's obviously an element of how they train like rugby union players in terms of distance covered on the field they're very similar to premiership footballers. The secret with nutrition is going back to basics a lot of people go too complex, they go in with a, this supplement, that supplement, but they're not going for the basic meals. So it's getting the routine right, getting the good foods in, and then after training I'd say get a good protein in. In terms of actual uh, hours or minutes on the field, we don't get that, that much, so to be able to get two field sessions in just gives us a slight advantage and, and makes sure that you know, everybody's singing from the same in sheets. And, and hopefully come World Cup time, you know, the time we've spent in these camps and these little weekends in prep will certainly help us.